Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon. Merry Christmas. I just wanted to bring you guys a special little, you know, blessing today for those of you that were looking for something a little extra special. So we're going to have you guys do a pick a tree. These trees are organized and they are created by Wing and Bell. I will put them down below, but we have this blue tree, this gold tree, and this green tree. So I'll put the timestamps down below as well as the three decks that I'm using here today. And I'm just going to shuffle all these cards on camera. So just go ahead and go to those timestamps and we'll get started. All right, you guys, so if you chose number one or this blue tree, let's get your special blessing for today. So we're going to go into the Oracle of the Unicorns and get a beautiful message here. What is your Christmas blessing? What is your Christmas blessing? We have the energy of patience. I'm wearing my robe because it's really cold today. So <laughs> you guys can see my big fluffy heart robe. Um, patience, it says, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. So this is telling you here that you are being gifted the, um, you know, the, the gift of patience, basically, um, that feeling, that inner knowingness that things are in divine timing. So you're starting to understand that you're starting to be okay with something that maybe isn't happening right now. So you're feeling this overall sense of peace. You're feeling this acceptance kind of wash over you. This is fantastic. So let's get a card that um, has to do with it, right? That's the one that wants to pop up. Okay, well, we have the two of fire. So the two of fire has something to do with something that you're perhaps waiting for. Maybe you, you're wanting to make a decision to move forward with something, but maybe something is not coming at, it's, it's like not coming at this present time for whatever reason. Again, divine timing. So you're getting the gift of patience right now. You're getting that inner knowingness that certain things are just happening exactly the way that they're supposed to. So this is the dream oracle cards. This is the angel oracle here. What else do we have? We have, okay, look at this, you guys. Chase or be patient. That's very interesting here. Okay. It says face and embrace the woman or man in the mirror. This is an opportunity for you to really take a good look at the situation or yourself before proceeding forward. It does say here that you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So of course, you want to continue to move forward. That's what the two of wands is. The two of wands is that you're looking at something and you're trying to figure out what do I want to do? Well, you know you want to move forward but there's something that isn't happening right now for a reason. So it is giving you an opportunity to take a good look in the mirror before proceeding forward. Maybe there's certain details that need to be understood first before perhaps signing a contract or partnering up with someone. So try not to chase something, try not to make something happen. Let it naturally unfold is what I'm getting from spirit, you guys. So let's go ahead and get another message. I wanted to get three per tree. What is the next blessing here? We have abundance. Well, this is the thing. It says, enjoy the beauty of life. It says, your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. So there is something that's due to happen, something good that is due to happen here. But again, just be patient because the longer that you're patient and you allow something to unfold rather than to chase it, the better off you'll be. Wow, look at this. I can't believe this. The page of earth. The page of earth is a brand new enterprise. Some sort of a beginning of something successful. It's an opportunity. So the page of earth that says scholarly, dependable, patient. Again, there's that word patient and successful. Good news about financial matters is coming your way. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So this is something that is a new idea. It's a good one. But again, it's something that if it's not happening right in this moment, try to sit back, relax, and don't chase it. Don't worry about it. It's coming to you. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh my God, you guys, this has something to do with school for some of you. This says scholarly, school. So it's not going to resonate for everybody out there, which is why I wanted to do three card pulls per tree. 
because there's a good chance that something will resonate out of this reading. But it says, examine your beliefs about being tested. Okay. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys have to actually be in an establishment of a classroom or school life is a big classroom. Life is a big lesson, right? So it says, examine your beliefs about being tested. So it could be that there's a lesson in patience. There's a lesson when it comes to how we feel and what we believe about ourselves is what we experience. And so there could be a lesson in regards to the law of attraction. There could be a lesson in regards to energy and vibration that we're learning about. And so this blessing is coming to you as, and you have an opportunity to really, really change your vibration and really change the outcome of your life when it comes to your beliefs about what you deserve and your abundance. Oh my gosh, I love this. So let's get your last blessing here. We have discernment. Okay, so this is interesting. It says, all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret, you guys. Wow, so this threw me a curveball here. So let's go ahead and get a tarot with this. Okay, we have the 10 of cups. So this says here, a contended and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So there is something in regards to a partnership or a relationship that you just need to be cons uh, discerning. It doesn't necessarily indicate that um, you know you can't trust this person, but really, really take some time to look in the mirror or see somebody how they really are before proceeding forward. Because sometimes we have an idea or a fantasy in our head about something or someone, and the facts or the reality don't quite match up. So the idea sounded like a good one, but really when it comes down to doing it in real life, it might just be better than it really seems. That's the energy I'm getting. So you guys are in store for abundance, but you guys have your intuition put in place for a reason. Trust it. It's all about vibration, music. So there's an energy here of being in the same vibration. Sing the song of your soul and dance to the, your own unique rhythm. So I feel like the blessing here, you guys, is that if you guys have people around you that are not supportive of your dreams or your goals, this is basically indicating to you, you've got to do what, what feels right for you. Try not to be influenced by people around you. People, you know, maybe have good intentions, but you know, deep down inside that you're, that, that that's not what you want to do. You have a feeling that you know what's right for you. Stick with that. Trust your gut. Be discerning in that energy. So it's saying that you do have trustworthy people around you that want to support you. But the thing is, it might not be the same exact like dream, like their, their dream for you might not be the dream that you feel is meant for you. I do have school and I have music. So there could be some sort of music. Maybe some of you want to, um, you know, be a musician and there could be certain uh, maybe even partners or friends that are saying, you know, that's just, you know, that's not going to work out. That's just a pipe dream, this and that. Well, maybe it's not. You have a great idea. It's time for you to move forward with this great idea. This is a gift. This is a blessing. Move forward with it because there's abundance and we have partnerships or contracts that are coming in that maybe they're not coming in right this second, but they're on the horizon. So just trust, but do be discerning when it comes to who you decide to let in on your dreams and your thoughts. It's not always a good idea to tell people, people your ideas. Because depending on where they're at in their own lives, they might shit all over it. They might have something negative to say. And so you have to be very careful, especially if you're energy sensitive, that you don't put your dreams or your, your goals or your ideas into the wrong hands. So be discerning when it comes to who you share your, your um, ideas with is what I'm getting here. But you do have trustworthy people around you and you're discerning enough to know who you can trust and who you maybe shouldn't trust. That's what I'm getting here. So you have the blessing. I don't know why my... my my robe just went like that. Well, it's probably because I moved it, but it, it wasn't like it was magical, like it just flew. Because <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, so that was group number one. So let's go ahead and go into uh, the tree number two. All right, you guys, tree number two, the gold tree. Let's go ahead and get your blessings, your Christmas blessings. 
Oracle of the Unicorns. Let's get it. We have imagination. I love this. So this says, envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream, believe in unlimited possibilities. All right. So a blessing is something that we are imagining. What are we imagining? Wow. We are imagining opportunities. The world we are imagining something big, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. What you imagine you can achieve. So this is a gift that you're being given right now. This is a blessing you're being given right now. You're being given the world, whatever, it's like the world is yours. Whatever it is that you're thinking, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, it is attainable. You're being given some kind of enlightenment, some sort of a vision for a reason. It's meant for you. Oh, it has something to do with perhaps a job, you guys. It is. It says, love what you do and do what you love. This is a dream job. This is a life purpose. This is a mission. So your, what you imagine may be different than what other people think is best for you. And that actually came up in number one, so it could be connected. But I feel like there is some kind of an energy where you're wanting to move forward into 2020 to do what you've always wanted to do. And guess what? You guys are being given this blessing right now through this reading that you have done a good job and now it's time for you to move forward and do what you freaking love. Oh my God, I love it. All right, let's get another message magic it says make a wish believe in a miracle magic surrounds you that's amazing so you have some sort of an extra magical energy around you oh my god the magician is freaking magical oh i love this you have exactly what it takes it says you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical oh look this is great so you have the magic touch right now. You have the tools. You have what it takes in order to create the dream that you want. Whatever it is that you're imagining, you have the ability to create it, to manifest it, to bring it in. We have the energy of the box. It says reveal your secret power. Hey, guess what? You might have been containing this for a really long time, a talent. Maybe you've always felt a calling to do something specific, but you just have not done it. You've been holding yourself back. Maybe you've been holding yourself back on account of other people. Maybe you've been holding yourself back out of your own fears or insecurities. It's time to reveal your secret power. This is the blessing that you're being given right now. You are ready. I love it. Okay. All right. One last blessing. Well, it's not your last blessing, but in this reading, freedom. Oh my gosh. It says live wild and free. Choose your freedom and claim your independence. So some of you guys are breaking away perhaps from, let's just say a corporate life, maybe a, uh, a relationship that you're not happy in a dead end job, whatever this is, you're freeing yourself perhaps to take on more of a career where you're feeling a lot more freedom, where you're able to authentically express yourself and do what you love and still be able to make a living out of it. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Fire, the Ace of Fire, the Ace of Wands, a, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life. Now the change is now be the change. Like this is about going after your dreams. You have the freedom, live wild and free. You guys, it says, Choose your freedom, claim your independence because a new and exciting opportunity is coming to you in order for you to perhaps advance your career, go towards your life's mission and purpose so that way you can change your life. Wow, so amazing. Mo, I love it. I can't, I can't believe this. Money, okay. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, you will be able to make actual money. 
by doing what you love. I mean, it already came through. There's an opportunity. So something that you guys have always wanted, something that you maybe you've been dreaming about it or imagining it for a long time, it's happening, okay? Maybe you guys have been really working towards a specific goal. It's coming in 2020. This is amazing, and it's bringing you the resources that you need so that way you can discover your true power. So it's like you're gonna be getting the loan that you need, you're gonna be getting the, the financial backing that you need in order to push something through, or maybe you just the idea that you have in order to bring forth this this um, ability to you know financially take care of yourself. So your dream job is also your purpose, and you love what you do, and it's amazing. And I can't think of a more beautiful blessing than this. So, anyways, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, I can't even say if it didn't resonate with you. Go ahead and pick another number because that was amazing. All right, going into number three. All right, you guys, if you chose number three or the green tree, let's go ahead and get your blessings. Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Oh my gosh. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Wow. So this is completely different than number one or two. Number one and two was about life purpose and career and opportunities and creativity. Number three now is about a partnership. Something that has ended is returning. Wow, wow. Or it could just be that some kind of a really just terrible, sad heartbreak. It's now over and a relationship now is coming into your life. Your life partner now is coming in. It says the end of a difficult situation, embracing this change and accepting things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. Well, the thing is, is sometimes when we're holding on to an old partner and we're just stuck in this pain and this melancholy and just all this stuff, it's very difficult for us to be able to move forward because energetically we're still stuck in that pattern. It's like a loop that just keeps playing over and over and over again. Now, this is saying the blessing for you guys moving into 2020 and just, just today, Christmas Day, it's about it's the end of this. It's like the end of an era. It's like the end of, gosh, yeah. I mean, you know, we're going into 2020, right? That's like a brand new, like set of numbers. We're no longer in the teens anymore. We're in the twenties. So it's the end of a difficult era. You can expect things to get better now. You guys, you're recovering from this addiction. You deserve it. Believe you are lovable. Maybe you guys have been working a recovery program and it's really starting to pay off in 2020. Now, this doesn't have to just be about romance, even though that card does say romance. This could be about your family, your friends. A lot of people have, you know, addictions, codependencies, things that just behaviors that wreck their lives. So this could be that you've really, really done the work and you're really just, it's paying off in 2020. Wow. It's so beautiful. Oh, departed loved ones. Okay, immediately before reading this here, I'm getting here. Anybody that has departed your life, people that you have loved, people that have loved you, even though they've departed from your life, some of them may return or someone specific may return, but it could be that this person has departed from your life. It's definitely been a very tough lesson. It's been heartbreaking and sad but you have no choice but to move forward and to, and to put one foot in front of the other and to continue to live, to continue to move forward. Some of you guys could have lost somebody through an actual physical death. That could be coming up in this reading right now too. You are loved more than you'll ever know. Somebody loves you more than you'll ever know. The thing is, it could be that somebody was not ready to be able to embrace the kind of love that you were ready to experience with them. You may never know how much this person actually cared or does care, but their actions may be telling you otherwise. But again, sitting around and waiting for this person to figure out, maybe that's not the answer. 
there is some kind of preparing yourself for a life partner. If you're got, if you guys are wanting to move forward and to experience a new partnership instead of hanging on to an old partnership that has a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, and a lot of addiction, there is an opportunity that you guys can because there is a new person perhaps coming into your life. Now, this of course could be a returning of a person too. The reason I'm saying both is because that's what that card indicates. It, it, it indicates preparing for a new person, but also it could be a return of an old person. So take what resonates with you guys. But if somebody has departed from your life and it's just been so tragic and it's been so sad, I mean, obviously if somebody has physically left your life, as in they are physically no longer living in the 3D world, you know, um, that might not be a return of them coming back into your life physically. So this is a new partner that's coming in for you. Um, but sometimes people that are in, in our past stay in the past. They stay in the past for good. They're not meant to come into our present or to come into our future. We're meant to leave them behind, but we've learned something from this pain. We've learned something from this experience and you guys are ready to be happy now. You guys are, you guys are done being addicted to the pain. That's a thing. Why would we want to be addicted to the pain? Because sometimes the pain is the only indication that, uh, it was real, you know, that we, it validates us in some sort of way to hold on to the pain. But after a while, it gets exhausting. And you just start to get to a point where you're just like, you know what? I don't need this pain anymore. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to live again. That's what I'm getting from this reading, you guys. So some of you guys want to live again. You want to live again. And whether people were ready or not, whatever happened, it doesn't matter. Let's just move forward. Let me forget about the past. If you're meant to be in my future, you'll come back. And if you don't, then someone else will come in that replaces this pain, restores you back to life. Oh, it's so beautiful. So there's a blessing, you guys. There's a blessing in 2020 in regards to um, a past person or um, just a new love. One of the two. It's beautiful. All right. Let's get another card. Expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Expand yourself. This is about seeing the bigger picture. Seven of Cups. So I'm going to read this. It says a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So there is something that you do need to do. And the answer is to expand. You got to spread your wings and you have to soar. So if you guys have been, you know, kind of playing it small, or if you guys have not really wanting to take a risk or a chance or go towards new energy, spirit saying that, you know, you have a decision to make. The Seven of Cups is a card where we're very confused. We're very fantasy-based, wishy-washy. We're in a state of illusion. We're kind of living in a dream world. Spirit's saying to get out of that dream world. That dream world isn't helping you. Expand your mind. Get out there. Live a little. Show the world what you're made of. The thing is, if you don't put yourself out there, the world will never know you. Mountain and hill. Reach your goals. Look at this, you guys. So, I mean, this could be something to do with an actual goal that you have or a dream, whatever this is. But the thing is, to continue to sit around and dream about it ain't going to cut it. You've got to expand. You've got to reach your goals by climbing that mountain and that hill. And you'll never get there if you just sit around and you just constantly fantasize about whatever this is. You've got to take action steps to move forward towards this. Show the world what you're made of. And the only way that you can show the world what you're made of is by putting yourself out there so whatever that means to some of you you can't stay hidden in a fantasy world any longer you've got to move forward with something you got to turn your dream into a reality or stop dreaming about it and move on into another dream if it's not attainable or if it's not realistic period wow all right you guys last message passion it says, do what excites you. Get fired up about your life and increase your energy levels. Beautiful. So don't play it small. Don't dim your light. Don't dim your light to fit in or to please other people. Do what you love. Oh, the lovers, you guys. So 
What's really interesting is that number three was very much based around a connection, intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions and good health. So Archangel Raphael comes through as this angel that's with the lovers. Okay. So this is an energy of what excites you? What makes you passionate? Does a connection fuel you? Does it feed you or does it starve you? Or does it break you, disempower you? Do you feel good about this? Are you in good health over this connection? If you're not, this is a decision that you need to make. And maybe that decision is to break free from fantasy-based thinking and move forward with passion and put yourself out there in life. And make yourself available for this new partner that wants to come into your life. I don't know why I'm shuffling these cards again because I'm done with those cards. So let me go ahead and go into this one. Last message, you guys. Child, give yourself permission to play. Beautiful. Okay, so this is about living your life and opening yourself up to the possibilities, brand new beginnings, fresh new starts like a child, okay? This is an energy here of starting over. And again, what's giving you excitement? What is creating, like what's exciting you? What's making you feel playful? If there's a connection that's just depleting you, that's just like at this point, you're allowing it to rob you of your life force and your, your passion and your energy and just this, this goodness that life has to offer you. If you're allowing a connection in your life to do that to you, that, that's definitely something that you're allowing. So Spirit's saying you've got to make a decision. You're the only thing that can restore yourself to good health, Okay. You're the only thing that can do that. You're, you're the only person that can make these choices. No one else can really make them for you. I mean, yes, people can make decisions that affect us, but ultimately it's our decision whether or not, like what we're going to do with those decisions that pe other people make or decisions that the universe makes perhaps. What are we going to do? How are we going to respond to it? How are we going to choose to feel about it? So at the end, we always have a choice. So Spirit's telling you here that when it comes to love, it is your choice on how you're going to prepare yourself or how you're going to be or what you're going to do in your love life. It's definitely about your love life, you guys, for sure. It's about a partnership. could even be about a partnership with a child. It could be a marriage with a child. It could be a marriage that lacks passion. And so it might be that you. it is time for you to spread your wings and fly, to expand your horizons, to get out of a dead-end situation that's just not igniting you. Okay? Instead of playing it small and safe, instead of staying with somebody for the wrong reasons, okay? Again, it's not really wrong reasons, but staying with somebody out of particular reasons, but you're not in love, whatever it is, this is maybe a time for you to really consider that this year is to figure out, do you really want to go into 2020? Do you want to do another year with this person that doesn't excite you that you're not in love with? Or is maybe something going on with you and you're lacking something and maybe you're looking at your partner and you're thinking to yourself, they don't make me happy. Well, do you make yourself happy? You know, sometimes when we're not happy, we look to project that onto other people around us. And uh, sometimes that's just not the case. It's not really the other person. It's us. And when we're feeling better and we're, when we're feeling restored, when we're living our, our best lives, all of a sudden everyone around us doesn't seem so bad. So that's also something to consider moving on into 2020. What is going to make you happy? What makes you happy? What lights your fire? Figure it out. And when you do that, your relationships res get restored back to good health. So those you guys are blessings that are available for you now and moving on into 2020. I hope that you enjoyed those. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Bye-bye.